Hey guys, King Joel here again. Today I'll be showing you how to do the Mosul Proposal Gamma, which will drop you the Tech Gauntlets. Alright, so for this mission we're going to be underwater. You're going to need a Basiosaurus, that's what I recommend. Mostly because the Basio has great AoE, so it's very easy to hit anything around you. Um, the one that I'm using right now is a bred one that's got 35k health born with 615 melee. Very old stat. However, you can use a regular wild tame Basio for this gamma version. Beta is very manageable with a bred Basiosaurus. Alpha, you will definitely need multiple players with multiple good dinos. So what you're going to do is, you're going to also need scuba gear, um, that's one thing. Then you're going to follow these blue little strips. They can be tricky to see, um, they should have made them a little brighter or darker or something to be able to be able to see them a little bit more clearly. And you're going to basically, if you miss one or two it's okay, you're just going to keep following them. It's a very fast mission, I think this mission takes like 6-7 minutes. And until you see the Moza in highlighted red. Now, just because it's a mission, it doesn't mean that you won't run into some wild dinos um, on your travels. I have encountered um, Alpha Tusos here and uh, regular Mozas. Now, if you have a regular standard Basio, you might have trouble. If that's the case, you basically just abort the mission and... Um, Try to aggro it away, uh, lead it to another area, and then come back and start over. Um, you can kill it during the mission if you have a good dino. That's possible. I have done it before, but it does um, ruin your time if you're trying to hurry up. Alright, so you can see I ran into the first stage of the Moza. It's um, three waves before the end. Um, you can see how fast it went down with this Basiosaurus. I think I took like barely any health loss on that one really. Um, and then you basically, once it's done, uh, it will move on and then you just follow the lights again. Sometimes you have to like really look for the lights, the little strips, because they can be kind of tricky to find. I recommend using the Basilio over a Tuso or a Moza because the Tuso is very tricky to use. You have to be almost at range to be able to hit anything. If something gets too close to your Tuso, it's very hard to hit it and you can get overwhelmed very quickly. Um, same with the Moza. The Moza has a very strange hitbox. It only has a hitbox in the front where like it can actually attack the backside. It, it's really hard to hit. Plus, the, the, the Moza turns like a Mack truck. It's super hard to turn around. The Basio has its massive AoE. So you can be like just standing still and you can hit shit that's not even close to you. It's great. So, recommend Basiosaurus for any mission underwater. So that concludes the, the second wave of the Moza. At the end of these kind of missions where you have to like follow a trail to a dino that you have to kill, like this Moza, generally at the end there's gonna be the the like the Moza and like little other dinos with it. Um, and I believe it's the Limpuridon, and that's the, like the, the lucky fish. They're really easy to kill. They don't really do much damage, but uh, just in case you didn't know. Alright, so I'm going to cut ahead to the last wave. Basically, you just missed about 45 seconds of me just following the blue strip. So when you get to the end, um, generally I focus the main boss of this kind of mission before the, uh, the extra adds on. So um, go for the Moza first because that's what's going to do the most damage. And then once you kill the Moza, you go for the other little stuff. And at the, at the end, you, you get your loot.
Yeah, pardon the lag there. That's a uh, the benefit of the official uh, you know servers here. We get a lot of lag. So I'm about to you know kill this little Mosley here, and then uh, we'll see if what we get here. All right. So it looks like I got three tech gloves, fairly decent armors and durabilities. Now this was gamma. If this was alpha, it would have been much higher and and whatnot. So at this point, you can basically pod your Basilio or Moza, whatever you're using, right? And then you basically just use the in-game teleporter and teleport yourself back to whatever biome you were and get back home. Super easy. All right, guys, that's it for today. Hopefully my video on farming tech gloves was helpful to you. I hope you have a nice day, and please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you.